Today we're in Tyson's Corner taking a look at an incredible house for sale. Now usually when people think Tyson's and real estate, they think of apartments or condos, but no, this is a single family detached house that's over 5,000 square feet, has a two car garage, fully fenced in backyard, and so many other details that we're gonna get to. Now I wanted to start here in Tyson's Corner because this is a preeminent shopping destination in the entire United States. Tyson's Corner is home to the first ever Apple store. Yeah, that's right, Apple, you know that thing that's in your pocket that everyone has, that I now have as of a month ago because I switched from Android to Apple? Yeah, first ever right here in Tyson's. There's also other major retailers like Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, Burberry, David Yurman to go along with fantastic restaurants and grocery stores like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. The area has easy access routes like 66, 267, 495, and the Silver Line. So it's really easy to get around town. And right now, we're gonna go about five minutes away to a little area called Dunloring and check out the house. Welcome to 7955 Robarge Court. This is a five bed, five and a half bath house that has four levels and over 5,000 square feet. We're standing on the quiet cul-de-sac right outside the house. I'm excited to show it to you. Let's go check it out. All right, so we just walked in. We're standing in the foyer now, and the first thing you're gonna notice is the incredible amount of sun that this house gets. There's windows everywhere, a lot of natural light. And we'll start over here at the home office. At over 5,000 square feet, there's pretty much gonna be a dedicated spot for whatever you wanna do. We have the built-in shelves against this wall, essentially floor to ceiling windows that look out over the cul-de-sac on that wall. And then you have this wall perfect for your desk set up. This is such a peaceful area. I could literally write a novel in this room. Like that's how I feel walking in. Okay, let's move on. So right outside the home office, we have the half bathroom. I love the placement of this half bathroom away from everything. Do you ever go to a friend's house and they have the half bathroom like right in the kitchen or like right next to the dining room? And you're like, is there another bathroom I could use? This half bathroom located away from everything. Privacy is great. So we have the sitting room over here and a cool bay window that actually extends the floor plan out by just like a foot or so, but it feels like the room is larger because the windows are large and the extension of the floor plan. And standing right here, you get eyes on the home office, on the dining area, on the living area, and even into the kitchen. It's got a really nice flow to it and a really nice floor plan. It doesn't feel disjointed or anything like that. So as we make our way into the dining room area, you'll notice that we have recessed lighting throughout the dining room, as well as the opportunity to put a chandelier there if that's more your style. So definitely some personal choices that you can make once you decide to call Robarge Court home. All right, this is the main living area. And once you come in here, it just feels like a weight has been lifted off your shoulder and you can finally relax. Or maybe that's just my impending anxiety that I always have. But either way, this is the spot to hang out. You could do couch there, couch there, and then the room is framed out by the gas fireplace with the flat screen TV above the mantle there. Again, lots of windows, lots of natural light, and it also leads out to the outdoor deck, which we'll get to at the end of this video. Let's move on to the kitchen. The kitchen has a fantastic amount of counter and cabinet space. You got the kitchen island, the bar set up, the gas range, the separate wall oven, the eat-in kitchen area. There's just so much room for activities. You have this, it overlooks the living and dining area. And then you also have the pantry area with the custom California closet set up. You're gonna hear California closet a lot in this video. So next we're gonna head on upstairs, check out the bedroom level. And we actually have a set of staircases right here. We have two staircases. So instead of going all the way around the house, to go to the one staircase like, like they do in Springfield, we have two staircases. This is Tyson's, this is Dunloring, the land of Tesla's technology and two staircases. Let's head upstairs. All right, so we're on the second level of the house and this level has four beds and three bathrooms. I don't wanna say that the primary bedroom is perfect, sounds a little too cliche, 
but feast your eyes on this bedroom. Guys, are you kidding me? You can go with king set up there, boom. Or king set up there, boom. Side tables, boom, boom. I feel like a football announcer. You know, Super Bowl just ended. I still got football fever. Anyways, over here we have the sitting room. And this is really important, guys. What's cool about this, because I know what you're thinking, what makes this house special than all the other houses that you showed? This is what makes it special. It looks out over Fairfax County easements, an area of wooded land that can never be built on. So instead of looking out and seeing the next townhouse over, instead of seeing Bill and Sally next door, you look out and you see trees and woodland. It's a incredible location and it's something about the property that will never change and will always make it valuable for the owner of this land. Let's move on to the primary bathroom where we have the double vanity sink, soaking tub, separate shower, and a water closet. And then right outside the bathroom is your walk-in closet with custom California closet organizers. We have the second bedroom here, new carpet throughout, great space, large windows, and an ensuite bathroom. All right, so we've seen two bedrooms. The other two bedrooms have a Jack and Jill bathroom attached. Now, if you follow me to the fourth level, we'll check out the fifth bedroom. All right, we're now on the fourth level, checking out the fifth bedroom, and we've already got your desk built-in situation figured out, and then you can go bed here, you can go TV or couch or lounge area, and then you also have the ensuite bathroom. Bathrooms on all four levels for a total of five and a half bathrooms. And there's one level we haven't hit yet. Let's hit it right now. That's the basement. There's a lot going on down here. I'm excited. There's basically three distinct areas. I'm gonna show you exactly what you're gonna do. Well, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I don't, I don't really know what you're gonna do. So first, I'm gonna have an 82 inch TV mounted flat screen right on the wall. I may even go 4K projector. I don't know, until the prices come down of the projectors. I'll go with the flat screen Black Friday deal. So our second space over here, I'm thinking exercise. Now I know you see the bar set up over here. I gotta get my heart rate up. I gotta get swole for summer season. It's coming up. Whether you're bulking or cutting, this is the place to do it. And hey, maybe you do a little bit of exercise, a little bit of drinking, everything in moderation. You know, carrot in the stick, you need some sort of motivation. So I'm gonna get the bar set up here. You follow me this way, and we have our third little area over here, which you could easily do a couch setup, and maybe even another home office desk over here, which, if you're keeping track at home, is now three desk at home areas. All right, so I wanna show you something real quick. In this area, I know what you're thinking. This is the perfect space, say it with me, for a golf simulator room. You, you weren't thinking that also? Okay, well either way, it's a great storage opportunity to put your stuff down here where you don't want other people to know that you have a lot of stuff and junk. This is the great room for it. And if we come over here, are we, we sure about this? I mean, guys, just look at this water heater. I'm six foot tall, and I'm six foot tall, not like I'm six foot tall on dating profiles, but really like five nine in person. It's even got Wi-Fi on it. This thing is gonna tell you your horoscope. And right now, it's saying that we should go out to the back patio. I'm gonna make a prediction. Whoever buys this house is going to eat a majority of their meals in summer out on this patio. It's absolutely gorgeous out here in the summer. It overlooks the county easement that we talked about. You have the fully fenced in yard. This Trex deck was from 2014. You have green grass growing. It's quiet, it's peaceful. It's got everything you need. All right, that just about does it for the tour. If you liked it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the place. And if you're interested, my contact information is found in the description box below. My name is Matt Layton. Until next time, create a productive day. Take care.